Uh, if you want to go out and play the original Nier uh, game, it's like maybe 15, 10 bucks, something like that, on the original PS3 uh, and Xbox 360. Um, so, uh, but in any case, the thing I wanted to kind of talk about as I grind on these on these fearsome foes here who aren't doing anything. <laughs> Um, I wanted to talk about obedience. Now, a lot of times we're thinking that obedience is just, you know, following what the Bible is saying. Uh, the obvious stuff. The stuff of, oh, hey, well, you know, don't sin, don't, you know, basically don't, we just kind of you know, boil it down to don't sin. And that's good. We should definitely not sin. So don't hear me say anything to the contrary of that. But uh, I think that God has some specifics in terms of what it is that he is actually wanting from uh, a particular person, right? So it's like, okay, we got the overall plan, you know. Now what's the specifics in terms of... Um, what God is saying. What are the specifics of that? And there's got to be this this end to almost a pious kind of understanding about what God wants for us in our lives. Like, yeah, we got the general thing, you know, but what about the specifics of, of, of what it is that he wants? What is he asking me in particular to do? Because it's just like everyone says that, you know, they have their strengths and their weaknesses, but that's not really explored too much in, uh, in in Christianity, and it's like, what am I supposed to do, you know? And don't hear me say that. Not, I don't want to hear you know, hear where I'm trying to make, over complicate things. I'm not saying that because he makes it pretty clear in terms of the the general things, you know. What I'm saying, but I'm just saying that a good thing to explore is also going to be. Uh, things like your family history, you know, what have you been into since you were a kid? Um, these things get at a specific uh, purpose that God has for you. And that may seem, sound kind of weird, like, um, so I'll give you kind of my testimony and my story is that uh, uh, ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to do game design and things like that, and um, and uh, you just wanted to make stuff. I, I was a kid that always was making something or going about making something. So, when uh, I got saved, I was kind of like, oh man, I can't, I can't really go about this anymore. You know, I had to, you know, be a preacher or something like that. And I spent years, years trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. And lo and behold, the revelation came to me one day that the Lord called me out of my job. I have a video of that um, on YouTube. Uh, you can look it up in the story uh, playlist. Um, but yeah, like all of a sudden, you know, this kind of comes to me and it's like, God was like, you know, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm doing my job. And he's like, um, well, what do you really want to do? And I was like, I want to make things for you. He's like, well, go do it. And I was like, oh, oh, really? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so the thing that I was trying to fight and not do was the thing that he was wanting me to do all along. Uh, so I just encourage you guys, um, to 100% pursue those things that God specifically like draws you towards is not an accident. It's like he's drawing you towards those things for a reason. You might be purposed for those very things that um, that he is putting your life for so many times or so many different directions. It's like there's a reason why you feel the way that you do and you may just be the person that's purposed or kind of built uh, for that very thing. And that's super exciting. That's very exciting. So, I encourage you to not make God out to be so stuffy. He really is not. He's very, very dynamic and uh, understands about the things that you care about or just might be the things that he cares about. And it might just be a thing where it's not that you should give it up or whatever you know. It just may be that you need to redirect that thing. Uh, so it's kind of like the 
understanding about if someone's kind of an angry person, you know, you're like, oh, man, you should definitely not be so doggone angry, you know, because there's more to life than this and yada, yada, yada. And that's true to a certain extent, but I don't mind that person being angry. I mind what they're being angry about, and that's what God minds. He's just like, don't be angry at people. We're not battling against flesh and blood. We're, we're battling against these principalities. We're battling against spirits. We're battling against these powers. So why get mad at the person? We should be getting mad at the spirit behind that person. Um, there may be a thing where you might need to, well, once again, I'm apostolic Pentecostal, so cast out something or take authority over something or speak life to that person or pray for them or bless them or whatever it may be. I have no idea what this is over here. It's fascinating. Um, but there, that might be the moment to do that. And it's good to be angry <laughs> and in righteous indignation kind of way at something that is harming someone that Jesus died for, you know, like, yeah, I can get kind of angry about that, but I still need to be angry at the person, you know, isn't that, sometimes, you know, it's just the thing that uh, uh, we get frustrated about with people is the very thing that Satan is uh, putting in that person's life to disrupt the plan that God has for them, so all I'm saying is that you can get down to the details, and some of the other practical ways to get down to the details are not only, you know, what is it that you care about, what it is that you like and everything, um, but also um, look at the history of uh, what is your skill set. And it doesn't have to be anything so doggone, like, specific, like art or whatever. You know, I don't have any talent. Be quiet. Yes, you do. Uh, you are purposed <laughs> to create things. And so there's always talent that goes into that. So it could be a, this is something as uh, not as obvious, like... Um, uh, for example, uh, being able to speak well, you know, I speak well, or uh, being able to motivate people, you know, I motivate well. That's that's a skill, that's a talent, that everybody can do that. So therefore, it's about consult, uh, counseling with the Holy Spirit and partnering with the Holy Spirit and going into like, okay, there's this thing that I that I have a passion about or this thing that uh, I see that I have a parent skill about. Where do you want me to aim it at? What's the direction you want me to aim it at? And once you're able to really do that and look at the Bible in terms of, you know, the ways that the uh, predecessors have aimed those things, you know, um, but also just those passions, those deep, deep passions that you have and aiming in that direction and discovering more about those skills and those talents uh, from the Bible because it's very interesting where you find out the origin of something, you know, how much the Bible actually does uh, give you a, a purpose of why that thing exists. So once you kind of boil it down, it's like, well, I am in architecture and, um, you know, that's not really a specific thing in the Bible. It's like, well, there was the construction of the temple, you know, you might want to find some things within the Bible itself that might point to um, some purposes and some things that, uh, that that actually is doing. So, you know, these are things to explore, you know, but the exploration of it is something that I don't want us to neglect um, or I don't want us to necessarily go for a Western understanding of everything, you know, but I want us to go to a kingdom understanding of these things. What is it that God's really saying? What is it that Jesus is wanting us to do? Um, what are these talents? How can these talents be used? You know, that should be really exciting to you guys, and I hope that it is. Just sort of start your journey with just um, analyzing and writing down what is it that I care about? And once you begin to write things down, you begin to see a pattern. And when you see that pattern, um, there I think there's a lot of times purpose in patterns. Um, there's a reason why you feel that way. There's a reason why this stuff bugs you. There's a reason why. And that might be the very thing that God has purposed you for. Um, and even though it may be a thing where that has to do with a lot of pain or whatever, um, that may be the very thing that uh, you've been purposed for because a lot of times... Um, God will turn um, a situation that Satan meant for evil and turn it for something that's good. Um, so uh, God's always ahead of the plan, <laughs> or is always ahead of the game, you know, if we just kind of lean on him and understand uh, the way he wants us to see it and everything. So, um, And I also think, too, that there needs to be just a turning around in terms of our understanding of obedience Let's turn around into something different. Let's turn around to all the I can'ts and I can'ts and I can'ts. And, you know, okay, you're right. You can't. Now what? 
get permission to sit around and do nothing and say like, no no you don't the whole uh the whole bible is designed to let you know that no you can't so you're in a great place to be right now like lord i cannot do i cannot do this or i cannot do that you know you got to make this thing work and that's the kind of humility and humble attitude he's looking for is for someone to say no i can't i don't know you gotta point this to me in whatever way you want to point it to me uh through people through the word um through uh personal revelation through a vision through uh prophetic ministries or whatever it may be like i don't know and it's about really focusing in on that direction but definitely just just write it i would write everything down that you care about and that has bothered you and that bugs you i just write all these things down and you'll get purpose and we can see a pattern in these things you know the counsel with the holy spirit and then really figure out okay how can i for real for real for real be obedient to everything that god has for me and wants for me uh because just like any parent they want their kid to have a purpose and to have a major impact on things and to fulfill the purpose of which they've been raised into because you know we don't raise you know, our children in a vacuum uh, we raise them uh, to be uh, to have a prof some proficiencies at some things we raise them to um, to move towards things that can lead them towards legacy um, all these things are wonderful that uh, um, we could be doing these things for our children, so we expect God to not care that much. It's like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You know, I love my children more than God loves his children. You know, like, it's a kind of a weird thing how we <laughs> how we expect so much, so little from the Lord, you know, in terms of his personal interactions with us. Um, it's like, yeah, he wants to talk to you. Yeah, he wants to spend time with you. Yeah, he wants that. Who you know what parent doesn't want that? I mean, he could have used any other kind of um, uh, descriptive uh, or adjective to 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 uh, attribute to himself. You know, he's got options, you know, but he chose father. I mean, he could have used conqueror or emperor or ruler or whatever it is, but no, he didn't do it that way. So I really think that it's time for us to uh, really take a look at being truly obedient. To the things that, oh dear, um, to the things that God would have us to do, because we're short-sighting obedience so much when we do that. It's kind of ridiculous. It's not helpful. It's not good. And there's so much, so much out there. I just encourage you guys to seek after it, because I would have never thought that God would have wanted to do some of the things He wanted to do with me and my family. I would have never thought that. Um, because of my understanding of myself, but who cares about my understanding of myself? It's his knowledge of who I am versus my understanding of myself. And once you really get into that and begin to understand that, oh man, that's it's fire, fire, fire. So uh, that's my time, guys. Take care of yourselves. Pray for one another. Pray for people you don't like, especially because that's gonna teach you some good things about uh humility and uh, true love and things like that because as it says in the bible um uh essentially who cares if you uh i won't say who cares but almost yeah who cares you know what's the big deal for liking and praying for people that you already like you say even the pagans do that um but what about praying for your enemies also so um but pray for one another people you don't like especially um lift each other up speak life to one another and i just want to speak life to you guys saying that yes you can not because of your own endeavors or your own power or whatever you know but because uh whatever that plan of purpose is that god's going to equip you and he's going to be the qualifier uh not your degrees not your understanding none of these things these things are things that god wants you to do and has for you by god um they will come to pass so we just got to believe in what it is that his plan is and be obedient to that and uh, we'll be just fine. So just humble ourselves and get her done. All right, guys, loves and hugs and ta-ta. Sorry, I was trying to angle the camera so you don't see uh, two Bs, but 
<laughs> it's a doggone shape. All right, guys, later. Thank you once again to my Patreon supporters. It means so much to me. Just look at them. Just look at these people. Just look at it.